I'm a Brit. I'm going to put it out there. I love my online grocery shopping. We do it all the time. There's a Cardo. I've even done Amazon Fresh in the United Kingdom. I've done it here in the US as well. Is it? I'm surprised how li little dominance, actually, online grocery shopping has in the United States. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a great point. I mean, um, in the U.S., it's a trillion three market, one point three trillion dollar market retail. It's only like six percent online. If that's the food and beverage is about eight hundred billion and then consumables, which is like personal care and household goods is like four hundred fifty billion. But yeah, it's only about six percent penetrated online right now. And what we saw in, in the U.K. is actually a great example of like we think adoption is going to continue to to go up. And in the U.S., Last year, about 12% of U.S. consumers bought grocery online. But interestingly, 20% of adults, 25 to 34, bought grocery online. So, you know, when you draw the line out over, over 15 to 20 years, that older millennial cohort, we think, will drive online grocery in the U.S. And in new proprietary data that we have in the U.K., in January of 2017, 34% uh, of UK consumers bought grocery online and another yeah. third said that they were likely to. So it's like it's it's three X the adoption of the US. And I, but I actually think that bodes well for for US adoption. The UK is just well ahead. And of course, in John, in the UK, it's the likes of Tesco that dominates. Then there's the other supermarket chains and then comes Amazon. How much of the piece of the pie will Amazon eventually own here in the United States? Yeah, so, yeah, your, your lead-in was exactly right. So we think it's the number nine uh, player right now uh, in, in kind of uh, overall in grocery, and we think it'll be number three by, by 2021. And the, the reason is they're attacking it in multiple different ways. Uh, number one is through Prime, so there's 50 million Prime households in the U.S. Then Prime Now, which is their one- to two-hour delivery service. Then Amazon Fresh, which is their end-to-end -end online grocery solution, in addition to Pantry and the Dash and the Dash button, and then they're also going physical with their uh, Amazon Go store, which is yeah. in beta, kind of in in Seattle right now. And then they're also going to be doing grocery pickup. So one thing that we noticed uh, last year. Amazon's overall global fulfillment grew 33%. But if you notice, um, grocery, uh, some of these platforms that I just mentioned, we saw accelerating growth. What I mean by that, uh, Amazon Fresh uh, added 10 markets. They're now they're at 20 at the end of, of 2016. They started 2016 with 10 total markets in the U.S. So that was a pretty big acceleration. And then Prime Now, uh, in 29 markets in the U.S., um, it covers about 58% of U U.S. GDP. And uh, we think about 5 million Prime households uh, bought goods uh, on Prime Now in any given month last year. And the, the biggest selling items on Prime Now are groceries, uh, personal care products, and household goods. So they're attacking yeah. it multiple different ways, which they, you know, they should because it's just so big. Very quickly, John, who'll lose out? Is it Walmart? Who will lose out? Um, yeah, who will be? We... Yeah, so uh, so Walmart's number one right now. We think they're going to be number one in five years. They have a huge, huge lead. Um, we just think Amazon will consolidate the space like they're doing in a lot of other verticals. Um, but, yeah, there's definitely a share shift going on. It's partially consolidation and partially, you know, some of the leading players will, will give share.